So hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel, Hello Helper. And friend, today I am going to show you how you can make photo slide in Windows 10. So friend, if you are coming first time on this channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel because you will learn something new. And friend, in this tutorial, I will show you step by step things where you will learn how you can create photo slide in Windows 10. So keep watching and learn something new. So let's jump into my computer. So friend, first of all, we are going to search photos app. So what you will do, simply click on this search bar and here search photos. And friend, when you type photos, then you will see this photo app. Just simply click on that. So your photo app will open. So friend, here you can see this is already, I have added this uh, photos in my album so right now i'm going to show you how you can add your photos okay so what you will do simply click on this album and here click on this new album and when you click new album that time you can see here the import button so what you will do simply click on that and select the folder which photo you want to add as a photo album so friend right now i am on my desktop and this is the folder which i want to add as a photo album so all the photos will import over here okay so what you will do simply select all so all the photos will select automatically and then click on this create button so your photo album will create like this and friend here you can rename your photo album so for example i am going to click here and rename the photo album so here new 2020 and what things you can do over here this is very important so here you can see this added button custom things then what you will do simply click on this add it and whenever you click add it then you can see all the different different options are available over here right now we are going to check all the things so you will get the perfect idea about it so friend this is this is title card and what it is for example if i click over here say then you can see this is title card and here you can add your title okay so right now we are going to click on this tax button and right now we are going to add my new slideshow 2020 for example okay and here you can choose any font which you like so friend here i am going to show you the different different font size and all you can see over here you can add as per your requirement so simply i'm going to select this one and here the location how your title will look like so this is right now showing in center if you want to add your title on top so you are simply click on that so your title will automatically showing on the top and this is on left side, on center, then bottom and right hand side bottom. Okay. So friend, this is the way you can align your title very easily. So right now I am going to select this option on center and then we are going to play. Okay. So this is the title page. If you want to add background then we can simply customize the background and this is the solid color we can easily apply any color which you want okay so right now we are going to click on this done button and this is my title page is ready okay so friend right now we are going to see other thing like background music and other part if you want to add okay 
So friend, here you can see this background music. So Microsoft Photos is already providing you many things like default uh, audio sounds is available over here. So these are the different different music. You can add like this. So this is the sample. So you can select any music which you want and then click on this pen button. So whenever you play this one the music and for example friend here you can see many options are available like rotate things for this screen and all so right now we are going to click on the duration part these all the slides will automatically move after three seconds if you want to increase or decrease seconds then you can select very easily for example here right now we are select this duration with one second and here we want to add duration five second and here we want to add seven second right and again we are going to play this slide and check it out so this photo will stay for five second and this photo will stay for seven seconds so this is the way where you can easily add the duration of photos so right now we are going to check the text option right here i want to add tags then simply select the photo where you want to add tags and simply click the tags and here i'm going to add sample text one and right now we are going to here you can select any tax option which you want so here i'm going to select this one and click on the bottom okay and here we are going to click on this done button and we are again going to play the slide you can see we have added tags and friend this is the motion part for example we are going to add motion into this so simply click on this motion so this is different different kinds of motions are available so we are going to check it out how it will work select the motion which you want to check select the motion and then click on this play button so you will get the sample thing how it will look we are going to again select this, this different options which option you like simply select and then click on this done button so right now we are going to add this pan left so this will pan left right now we are going to this add one so this is the different different types of animations and motions are available into this so you can add this and friend here you can see 3d effects if you want to add 3d effect then these type of different different 3d effects are available into this so you can add this effect and little bit click on this play button so friend, I think to save this 3D effect, you can also increase and decrease the location. This is the 3D effect. You can easily add this 3D effect into this. And here different different types of 3D effects are available. So for example, I'm going to add this one. And here, where you can easily rotate this effect very easily. For example, I'm going to rotate this effect. So you can easily rotate this effect and move any places where you want to add this effect. So right now we are going to play this effect and how it will look.
so friend i hope you seen something so you can add different different 3d effects over here and then click on this done button and right now we are going to play this slide and here your friend here you can see this filter option just simply select the photo where you want to add filter or you can simply right click and here you can see different different things like you can select remove and remove everything you can do that okay so friend right now we are going to select this filter and just select one image that's why I'm select this one and then click on this filter so friend here you can see different different filters effects are available so you can apply that filter into this image so friend this image is looking really clear and natural that's why I click over here and then click on this done button or you can see the preview of the image simply so click on this done button so this filter will apply on this image and friend if you want to rotate the image then what you will do select the photo which you want to rotate and here you can see friend Control R you can do from your keyboard or simply click on this button so you will get the different different rotate option so friend right now we are going to add custom audio if you want to add custom audio then simply select on custom button and then add audio file so right now I have this music so simply clicking over here and right so friend this way you can add music into your photo album or you can increase or decrease the location or size and then click on this done button so music will add over here that's done All right now we are going to play So friend here we have added title, we have apply filter on images and also we add custom audio into these photos. So right now we are going to click on this finish, finish video and right now we are going to click on this export button. So this is asking for me the location so here I am going to click on this export button. So friend this way you can easily create slideshow and convert that slideshow into the video format and you can share to everyone okay and friend right now this is exporting this video and after that we will see the demo of this converting this slideshow let's see how it will look so friend you can see This is the slide so and this is really showing very high quality images over here and one of the best thing okay So friend if you are coming first time on this channel please subscribe my youtube channel and if you like this video click on blue like button and share with your friends and family so they can also learn about these things and if maybe you have any query or question you can comment me below so i will give you the answer and also mention what things you like into this video and if you have any query or question then you can comment me below so i will make new videos for you guys so you will learn something new. okay friends so thank you for watching and stay tuned with me and we will meet in next video